All right, you guys, I am looking for an amazing place for dinner, and I found this place at, at Mu Bungri. So I'm craving some Korean food because it's actually cold tonight in Vegas. You know, it's actually surprising it gets very cold in the desert at night. So I'm looking for something to heat me up, and hopefully some amazing Korean food is definitely going to do that. These got soup over here, and they are known for their sundae, so cannot wait to try it out. Let's go inside and see. Guys, so we just got sat down here at Mu Bonggri, and of course they're known for their sundae, which is this Korean blood sausage. And what's really cool is they have a whole bunch of different locations. I'm at the Vegas one, but they have a whole bunch of ones in California. They've got a Dallas and Chicago location. So if you guys are nearby, definitely try this place out because this menu is pretty, pretty, uh, has a lot of variations. So a lot of sundae options, and there's a, bit, a whole bunch of soups. There's some pork belly soup, some beef bone soup. That sounds amazing. It's actually it's actually cold right now in Vegas. Can you believe that? So it's actually a little bit chilly outside. So that's why I'm here enjoying some delicious Korean soup of food. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to definitely try out um, one of the hot pots. We're going to try some balsam and of course try a little bit of the sundae. So let's order and let's get ready to eat. You guys know that at Korean restaurants, it comes with banchans, which is side dishes. This looks so fresh. That's why I absolutely love about Korean restaurants because everything is just so fresh. A whole bunch of veggie options these look scrumptious. This is super cool too. On the side they have this little seasoning box. You can get all the condiments on your own. This is like a spicy chili shrimp paste. We got some gochujang here. We got some shrimp paste here and different varieties of uh, seasonings. This ordered. Um, we're gonna have it all totaling up to about $100. Uh, so we're gonna have the uh, spicy pork neck bone hot pot. We're gonna have the medium one, so that's about $40 there. We're gonna have the balsam with napa kanji, another $30. And then we're gonna have the beef uh, bulgogi, which is another uh, $22. And then the side sundae, which is about eight bucks. So totally everything about 100. See if we can eat $100 worth of food here. Um, but yeah, I am ready to eat some food. Cannot wait. It sounds absolutely amazing. Hey guys, time to dig in. This looks incredible. I cannot wait to salvage all this food. Yes! Okay, you guys, so I am ready to get started. Oh my god, let me put my hair up so it doesn't get in the way. This is an incredible amount of food. But yeah, I'm here again at Mubongri in Las Vegas, and they have a whole bunch of locations. So if you guys want some Korean food, definitely check them out. But let's get started with this hot pot. Ooh, the seasoning on top is very interesting. I'm gonna take some of the pork bone out. Ooh, oh, is that noodles? That's a noodle. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's probably really hot. I'm gonna let it cool down on the side, but let's test out their sundae, which is what they're known for. The Korean blood sausage. Oh, very chewy. Surprisingly, very addictive. All right, let's try some of my balsam. I love balsam so much. Make a wrap out of it. I'm actually gonna put some sundae in here too. It's like a pork belly sundae wrap. Mm. That's usually what scares me with blood stuff, but this is actually pretty pretty good. It's, it's really chewy. It kind of reminds me of eating mochi. Um, it's pork belly. Okay. 
Alright, let's try out the piece of noodle that I got over there. There we go. Oh, it's not noodle, it's veggies. Better. Mm. That's so good. I, li I like how like in hot pots the um, flavor of the ingredients just really soaks up into like the uh, <laughs> toppings and you get a full flavor of the block. It's awesome. Dude, this pork belly is so good. It's like really light, really simple, but I don't know. I really like the flavor of it. Mm. Looks like um for one of the panchans too, they have like this uh, pancake style. Mmm, egg pancake, that's really good. I really like the soup veggies. There's some potatoes too. Okay, let's try to dig into some of the meat. Oh wow. <laughs> That meat is so tender. The meat around the bone that has the most flavor. Mm. It's like eating ribs. to let it cool down on the side first though otherwise it's way too hot it's got i have to like dig it apart to get to the uh, parts of the bone i'm gonna try to get the ones that soak in soup it kind of reminds me of the uh, korean kimchi army stew because it's so like filling and there's a lot of protein and it's just like has a lot of nutrients This is another one of their sides. It's fish cakes. That's one of my favorite. It's like super sweet. This is a really good side. Put two in here. This is so cute. Look how squishy the sausage is. You can barely see this. This pot is so huge. This is only the medium size too, can you believe it? They give it so much food. Same with this, there's so much meat. Oh, this, you really get your money's worth for all this protein. Mm. 
Only tough part is getting to all the meat. But luckily the meat's like easily breakable. Also the empty bowls are bored. That's gonna chuck a meat right there. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. And it's like kimchi. Kimchi is like a palate cleanser. When things get too um, heavy, I love to eat some kimchi. Mm. Getting that kimchi really helped balance this out the taste. a good amount of spice already. So at first it's not too spicy, but it definitely adds up very fast. Oh, 
Oh my god, we still haven't touched the bulgogi yet. Let me finish the sundae first. And then we'll get started. Wow, there's actually still so much. I thought I actually killed a lot of the bulgogi already. I can't really see over this pot, but wow, they do give you a whole bunch of food.
I really wish I knew a short period sometimes. It sounds um, very like smooth when I hear it. And I wish I understood it more. Where I I think I'm actually like more done with this than I thought. Most of it is just broth, right? Yeah, but I take the broth off just for some other time, but I'm gonna finish all the meats today. We're actually doing really well. Actually, this, there's a whole big plate of this. Um, mm. Dude, cat, cat belly is just so good. I'm dipping in this broth. Mm. So it's like really, really fragrant. Thank you. 
sick of eating one specific stuff like I do in food challenges that's why like I feel so good right now I don't feel full at all like I, that's why I'm like I'm able to keep going because like there's so much varieties and there's so much like stuff to like just uh kind of cleanse my palate so it's not there's no flavor fatigue as well Kimchi is so good. Like, kimchi has like a hint of sweetness. I think that's what really helps with like the palate cleansing because it's just like you know the salty and you get a little bit sweet. That's why it doesn't look um, I don't, uh, it was like this, it was like, whoa, you know. But you know what? We're moving through really fast. Oh, I have one here that I already let pull off. And I think that's it. Wow. Did I take it all out? Oh, I did. Oh, that's about it. Almost did it. Nice. challenge like tips with um, trying to get this through because of the rice is going to fill me up so that's why I'm eating it now and what I really 
like to do is um, let the rice soak up the juices and stuff. This part, the rice soup, it's so good. Mm. That is awesome. If you got soup and you're not eating rice like that, you're doing wrong. Like, that's just heaven. There's some meat juices here. Flip some of the juices onto here. I can definitely feel it. The moment I start eating the rice, the moment I start feeling full. Cool. I should just say to every day. But I do enjoy eating like soupy stuff with rice. It just tastes so good. Now I'm pointing out this, I think this alone is supposed to feed a family of six. Because like it comes with all the sides and stuff. So I'm eating quite a lot of food. As usual, but that's just just another day at the office for Raina, right? That's that. Oh, 
that little bit of rice really just stopped the momentum. That's why I wanted to kill the meat as much as possible. <clears throat> yeah, we got some bowl of rice and we got all this beef. I didn't wear too fancy of a dress. Mm -hmm. Out of everything, it really is the rice that's killing me, eh? So I order this much food and you see me eating this much food, what would you think? So I think the uh, restaurant is almost closing right now. So a lot of the employees are looking at me like, she really eating all that. That's me. You don't need to get another glass. Thank you. Oh yeah, everything's great. Thank you. No, 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 I'm good. Thank you. It's like, do you need more food? I'm like, I'm good. I just need some more drink. But yeah, this with the rice, with the meat, is so good. don't drink anything uh, and I'm like I need to have something to drink I get the hiccups so that's why I didn't want to like continue eating without getting my diet coke because I absolutely hate getting hiccups it is just no. it is not a good time Thank <laughs> you. 
amazing stuff. This was definitely top notch. I'm taking this broth home. I am not wasting it. I can throw some extra noodles in there. I can use it to cook more stuff at home, but um, this was delicious. Everything was top notch. I loved everything. Oh, I have nothing bad to say about anything. Everything was 10 out of 10. So good. So if you guys are looking for some good Korean food, definitely check this place out. But either way, I hope you guys uh, was getting some food and eating along with me because that took a while. All the bones, all the food, everything, that was so delicious. But um, maybe go get yourself some soup now because soup is awesome. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you visit them, let them know I sent you. But other than that, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.